Welcome back to another edition of the Texas Rangers Prospect Profile, a mini-series we do here within the Rangers franchise, where we go over top prospects from AA Frisco up to AAA Nashville. Last time we went over shortstop Bryce Terang, and now we're going to be staying down in AAA to go over his teammate in Julio Pablo Martinez. Martinez is a 24-year-old center field prospect. He bats lefty and throws lefty, stands 5 feet 9 inches tall, and weighs 174 pounds. He was signed out of Cuba by the Texas Rangers in 2018. So as far as Julio Pablo Martinez's ratings go, he is currently sitting at a 70 overall B potential. He was formerly one of the Rangers' top prospects, but as of right now, if you look at MLB.com at the Rangers' top 30 prospects, he is not currently on there because he had a disappointing 2018 and 2019 season, so he's kind of fallen off the radar a little bit. And then they also didn't really have a great year at the dish for us in 2020. However, since he is a B potential, he still developed his rating quite a bit, so he still is the guy who's on my radar, more so probably than the actual Texas Rangers radar. And Martinez has two standout tools, and that is his glove and his speed. He has 81-81 fielding reaction. Uh, he's going to have zero issue patrolling center field at Globe Life Field. It's a big outfield out there, and he's got the speed and the fielding and the reaction to do it. Uh, his arm is not the strongest I've ever seen, but it's decent. 60 at arm strength, 71 accuracy. Definitely not a Joey Gallo type arm. But it's, it's, it's serviceable to have in the outfield. And as I mentioned, he is very fast. He has them fleet feet. He is sitting at an 86 speed with a 50 stealing rating. He can swipe a few bags here and there. Uh, he only had 7 steals in 2020 for us, so hasn't really shown the ability to be like a dangerous base stealer, but that also probably has to do with the fact that he didn't really get on base much, which we'll get on a bit later on in the profile. So since he's not really a base stealer, his speed's main purpose is pairing it with that 81 reaction rating to make him even more effective in chasing down balls in the center field and just getting to stuff much quicker than most players would be able to get to. And that leads me to his hitting skills. His bat is still quite questionable and that is definitely what is holding him back. His contact ratings are definitely not the worst at a 51 and 50 respectively. Uh, doesn't really have any pop though, so he can really just hope to be like a double sort of hitter. He's never going to be out there hitting home runs much. Uh, maybe like double digit home runs is like his peak. His vision is also very low to 24, while his plate discipline is currently only a 43, which is definitely not ideal, but it's much higher than his vision is, and it does have the ability to go up as it goes along with his career. But like I said, he doesn't really get on base much to even use that speed. That's probably a big reason why he only had seven steals, as in the 2020 season with AAA Nashville. He also, I think actually split the year between Nashville and and uh, Frisco. I'm not 100% sure on that, but I do know in AAA to end the year, he only had a 307 OBP, so definitely not ideal for a guy who has a lot of speed or just any guy at all that you want on a big league roster. So Julio Pablo Martinez is really the first prospect that we've done a profile on where I don't really have a 100% set plan for the player. Uh, Eric Jenkins is a pretty similar player in our organization. He's the same age, also plays center field, currently in double A, but he's already on the 40 man because I had to add him that because he was available to be taken in the Rule 5 draft. So I did not want to lose him, even though I don't really, not really sure if he's going to be a part of our team long term. I didn't, I just didn't want to lose the option of having that. And then, of course, there's also Leody Tavares, who is also already on the 40-man and currently in AA. He's having a pretty good year so far in AA, and his defensive ratings aren't nearly as good as Martinez's or Jenkins, but he is still definitely an option to have along with Jenkins and Martinez. And then, of course, we have Albert Almora Jr., who is currently an experiment on the big league club to see if he's going to figure things out for us in one season. But if we get, like, halfway through the year and it's very obvious that he's not going to figure things out, then one of these guys could definitely be called up and be taking over in the center field spot. So I would expect to see Martinez at some point this season. It's just a matter of whether he sticks or not. 
Uh, like I said, the bat is still very questionable and not ideally something I usually go with when someone can't hit, but his defensive ratings and his speed makes it so he just really can't be ignored as a prospect. Uh, just really the only thing that's for sure about the center field position in the future is that we have quite a few promising young options in our organization. It's just we're not really sure if any of those guys are going to be the long-term option at the position. So with that being said, it's going to wrap things up here for this edition of the prospect profile of center fielder Julio Pablo Martinez. I've been your host, Jerseyborn, and I am saying, I cannot get ooh-la-la -la by running the jewels out of my head.